Hi there, these comments are for RR. I am Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and you're completing one of the most important parts of the speaking aspects of the TOEFL IBT. You're doing my TOEFL pronunciation pretest. So in this video, let's see if we can figure out exactly which vowel and which consonant sounds are you having more trouble with. That's the first step. Then we can figure out what lessons you can focus on in order to improve in those areas. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel, uh, one of my students just got 30 points on the speaking section. He took my course a few months ago. He studied for about four months. He worked very, very hard. I think he got 107 total, including 30 points on the speaking and 24 points on the writing. And think about that. Now, does that mean you're going to get 30? Maybe not. But I really believe that you can definitely improve your speaking by being a part of this service. And that's my goal and my promise to you is to help you improve and conquer the TOEFL IBT exam. Okay, I think I'm ready. I got some paper here. I have a pen. This is what you want to do is to make sure you have notes. Take notes whenever you hear me give you some feedback. So I'll probably try to give you some specific uh, certain lessons I think you want to focus on based on your performance on this pretest, right? So let me get ready and let's listen to how you did each of these uh, exercises. All right, here we go. Ought, boat, wrong, grow, honor, over. Father, thou. Okay, my first suggestion is the O. You need to make that longer. So, boat. So, pot, boat. Wrong, grow. Pat, pot, map, mop. Tack, talk, and on. Mac, mock. Bright, brown, Okay, that's, not, that's not bad. So, you got, you got pat, pot. But you need to make that second sound a little louder pot, mop, talk, on, mock, and maybe longer. Lie, loud, loyal, pie, pound, gate, get, late, let, mate, met, blade, bled, den, den. So my suggestion on lesson 10 it's the first sound. You're not making it long enough. So you say gate, get. So the first sound needs to be longer. That's what you want to focus on when you practice lesson 10. Meet, meet, pit, pit, leap, lip, seed, sit, heat, hit, look, look, luck, took, tool, tough, could, cool. Again, the ooh, look, uh, Tool, cool, so that ooh, ooh, need to make that longer. So that's lesson number 12. Hope you're writing these down. Match, mash, cheap, sheep, feature, fisher, shaft, shaft, cheer, shear. This one you got chaffed, shaft. Be careful the CH and the SH sound, but for the most part, I think you understand the difference between those two consonant sounds. Off, off, half, half, have, fine, wine, fan, van, wafer, waver. I think the initial V in lesson 14, you want to pronounce that with more vibration. So you have fine, vine, fan, van. How, ha habit, who, rehash, behavior, hate, Batman, bitten. Important, brightening, hat track, threatened, major, measure. And I think with number 15, you want to focus on learning how to pronounce the glottal stop. This is something unique to American English, but I think if you, if you understand how to pronounce the glottal stop, I think that makes you a little more natural as a native speaker here in the United States. So you have uh, Batman, Bitten important, brightening, hat rack, threatened, that particular sound. Fragile, Frazier, 
Legend Lesson Engine Azure Large Asia Big trouble with Lesson 16. Trouble on the home front, buddy. But you wouldn't be taking this class if you didn't have trouble, right? So of course you want, you're going to have some trouble here. So don't worry about my comments. Sometimes I can be a little direct and some people get upset. Michael, you're, you're telling me all my problems. But isn't that what you're paying me to do? Right? If your English were perfect, why even take my course in the first place? Uh, lesson 16, you have the, the J and the J. Major, measure. You fall off the cliff when you try to say measure, Fraser, lesion, azure, asia. That's the sound you want to practice in lesson 16. Kick, kick, sink, sag, game, game, cap, gap, lake, lag, okay. lean, rear, better, luggage, rugged, udder, okay. right, light, committed, pace, base, flap, flap, cap, cap, lap, lap, pay, bay. You got big trouble with the P. A P is a bilabial consonant, so you need to... Excuse me for a second and get away from my bookshelf back here. You need to uh, uh, pronounce that P with a little bit more air. Pace. Base. Or lap, lap, lab. So I think lesson 19, you want to focus on that. Now in lesson, in lesson uh, number 7 and number 19, you want to remember... This is a phonological rule. If you have a voiceless consonant at the end of the word, the vowel before it will be shorter than if you have a voice consonant at the end of a word. So a voice consonant, an example would be the B. Notice, flap, flab. Or a voice consonant would be the G. Cake, keg. Uh, lake, lag. So you can definitely work on that K or when the G's at the end of the word, when the B's at the end of the word, you want to pronounce the vowel. Uh, it's a little bit longer in those cases. Lice, lice. Sip, zip. Siu, zoo. Mace, mace. Elisa, Eliza. Yeah, I think in the words lies. Maze. So sometimes when that Z's at the end, the Z sound, you need to pronounce that again. Z with more vibration. So in lesson 20, focus on pronouncing the Z when it's in the final position of a word and, and try to improve your intelligibility in that area. Multiple Robert, example pressure, principal number, people philosopher, volcanism written, maximum question, summer reason, chasm often, okay, good. tip dip, cart card, Tight, tight, train, drain, fat, fad. No, it's not drain, but it's train, drain, drain, and then cart, card. We go back to the same rule with uh, lesson 19 and, and uh, 17 there. So when the D's at the end of the word, the vowel before is a little longer. Tight, tied, fat, fad. So you can work on that. And you need to pronounce that T. T, t tip, tip, dip. Cart, cart, card. Team, dream. Thai, thai. Breath, breathe. Teeth, teeth. Through, mm -hmm. thou. Now you got trouble with this Worth, too. worthy. Okay, you got the same notes I have? Did you write this stuff down? So this is, this is what, what I think you need to focus on. Each of these represents maybe a 10 to 15 minute pronunciation lesson, right? So practice, practice, practice. At least now you know what vowel and what consonant sound you're having trouble with. How do you know? I just wrote them down. I got over 35 years of uh, grading experience here, and I can tell you these are the sounds that you want to focus on. What are they? Lesson number 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 
23 and lesson number 24, those are the most important lessons in the pronunciation section, especially with vowel and consonant sounds, that you want to focus on. Does that make sense? So that's what you want to do there. Now, let's go to Part B. Part B, this is going to help me understand more about your overall speaking skills, right? So I want to listen to this and let's see how you did with the personal experience questions. This helps me see how you can uh, put vocabulary and grammar within the context of your speaking and I can also see the pronunciation uh, as a natural part of your communicative abilities. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Part B. I have a master's in uh, software engineering i'm also currently working on my mba okay my work history is i have around 11 years of experience wow uh, being a data engineer okay i have worked with multiple uh, multinational companies i worked in india and i've also worked in usa and you are one smart dude i can tell you that right now <laughs> okay question number two no, it's question number two, not question number two. Ooh, remember I talked about the longer? That's where you can really focus, right? Get the long vowel sounds. Make sure you pronounce them longer than the short ones. So meet, mit, book, book, boo, Luke. Okay, let's keep going. I'm planning to take TOEFL, so it's very important for me to get my uh, pronunciation and uh, be able to pass the speaking test with at least 26 marks okay this is important for me as I'm trying to uh, get a permanent residency in uh, Australia okay good day mate you see any kangaroos where you live <laughs> okay number three I'm planning to increase my speaking score more than 26. Okay. That's the minimum that I need in order to get my um, get my proficiency to a superior mm -hmm. level. Okay. So that's what I hope to achieve. That's what you will achieve. The main thing is don't give up. Okay, so the next step is, I'm going to look at my intelligibility scale here. Let's see what your score is on that. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to figure out what's called an intelligibility score right now based on my own scale. I kind of put this together myself. You have uh, the lowest score you can get here is 1. The highest you can get is 7. Uh, I'm going to put you in the 4 area. If you read some of the description here, you have obvious accent pronunciation variations, but these do not interfere with understanding and are rarely distracting. You have a variety of grammatical structure with occasional errors. You can respond, and I don't think you did a great job on this, but I'm going to put you at, at, at a four, but the sustained and connected discourse thing, uh, you seem to be a man of few words. But don't do this on the TOEFL exam. In both the writing and the speaking sections, you want to make sure that you're very, very specific in the words that you choose and the examples that you give so that they clearly illustrate the arguments you're trying to make in those independent speaking and independent writing tasks. So you need to be a little more precise with your word choice, I think. I know you're, well, Michael, I'm just telling you about myself. It's true. But still, I can tell by, by how you do with this pretest. this also gives me a pre pretty good idea how you're going to perform on the speaking section of the TOEFL IBT. Now, what I want you to do is, is make sure you go to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting things regularly. I want you to follow that. Right below my video, subscribe, click on the bell. You'll get updates. Uh, on my new posts or my new videos that I upload regularly and I want you to pay attention to the student right now 
who has been scoring between 26 and 30 points on the speaking practice test that she's submitting me. I want you to listen to some of those videos and get an idea of what you need to do to get that high score. And then I want you to try to copy, try to duplicate that. Does that make sense? So follow me at my YouTube channel. I think my YouTube channel is uh, M Buckoff 1965 is my YouTube channel handle. Uh, all right. Anyway, thank you very much for completing uh, the the pretest. So now you have a pretty good idea of, of some things that you can do to improve both your speaking and your intelligibility of American English.